Crimson Trace's laser saddle is a feature-packed laser sighting solution for Mossberg 500, 590, and 590 Shockwave 12 gauge shotguns. Available as a red or green laser. Buy it now at CrimsonTrace.com. Today on Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, from the Crimson Trace booth at SHOT Show 2020, Tom gets the scoop on the latest from Crimson Trace, Smith & Wesson, Brownells, Ruger, Timney Triggers, Mossberg, Surefire, and the National Shooting Sports Foundation. And now, here's Tom. All righty. Hey, guess what? It's Tom Gresham. We're at the SHOT Show 2020 in Las Vegas with, as we like to say, 60,000 of our closest friends walking around on something close to 700,000 square feet of exhibit space. All the gun makers are here, all the optics makers are here, ammo makers, anybody that has to do anything with, to do with guns or hunting, it's, it's all here. It's not open to the public. The SHOT Show is a trade show. Uh, but we're going to be bringing you a lot of the news from here, and there's a lot of news here, a lot of new products happening, a lot of things going on. I will take a time out in the middle of this in just a few minutes, actually, to talk about uh, what happened in Virginia, the aftermath, and how the media is spinning it. You won't believe the thing I saw this morning on that. And I will give you kind of my take on where I think we're going and, and what that means. So just to let you know. And, oh, yes, by the way, do not call the number to call in today. We are, SHOT Show does not, is not held on Sunday. So we are doing this on Thursday at the SHOT Show. So this will be a recorded session. You cannot call in. Well, you could. You could call in. No one's going to answer. That's, that's between you, know, you and your phone. All right. We're in the Crimson Trace booth. Ryan Donahue has joined us right here. Hey, Ryan, you're having a good show, man. I'm uh, having an awesome show. You I really get to are. hang out with you for a little while. Hey, this is fun. Always fun. Every year. Thank you so much for hosting us here. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, we, we hang out in the booth and we talk about your stuff, but we also talk about everybody else's stuff that's as, right. as well. We, we, I like to see it all, too. We, well, you're a gun guy. I know. It's it's. People don't, they may not understand. It's like the last day is travel day because you get to kind of get out of the booth and That's wander right. around and go see the cool stuff, right? That's right. That's right. Because you're just as much a gun geek as everybody else. Just because you work in the business doesn't, right. doesn't mean you don't love this stuff. I, I live it. I live it. I'm, I'm looking at, you know, the people walk around. Of course, one of the things we should address right off the bat is that Crimson Trace is not what a lot of people think of tr Crimson Trace. Because a lot of people love Crimson Trace. Yep. It's, you know, been there a long time. You know, they've, for decades, they've been loved 26 the laser. years this year. All right, 26 years. Lasers, lasers, lasers. Yep. Except... We got some new stuff. You're not just lasers anymore. I mean, <laughs> for the last, what, two years now? Yep, two years, yep. Okay, scopes. Red dots. Red dots. Pistol-mounted red dots, which everybody loves. Right. Um, yeah, it's, so basically the, the, the tagline now is lasers, lights, sights, and scopes. That's what we really, have. Really, you know, I mean, when you think about it, it's just, it's optics now. Yes. Yep. You're just doing optics, and you're doing high-end optics. We're doing some high-end. We, we got some new stuff, really cool stuff okay. to talk about. So since we brought up scopes, let's, let's just go there. Sure. So um, we launched the 1309 at the show. Um, the 1309 is everybody's favorite, a three to nine rifle scope. Everybody needs a three to nine. Yep. yep. Um, so for this one, what we did, we got a lot of feedback on a lot of the scope line, and people said, hey, we, we want a budget-minded three to nine. Um, with a duplex reticle, okay. and keep it simple, but keep it Crimson Trace quality. Okay. Um, so in the box, what you're going to find is you get your own set of rings, caps, um, includes the rifle scope, so right out of the box, it's ready to go. And we're also talking about a lifetime warranty. So just like with everything else. So, okay, so it comes with a lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty, yep. Now, what rings does it come with? So we have our, we have our own set of rings that we've put with the scope. For, um, for pick rails? Yep. Okay. Yep. So, so, I mean, if you, had, if you wanted to put it on, say, your old Winchester Model 70, you got to get re you rings you got to get that. some different rings. Okay. Yep. yep. But if you're putting this thing on a, a firearm with a Picatinny rail, yep. Picatinny you're good to go. You're good to go. Huh? Yep. What's what's this thing gonna cost? Well, we're we're still we're still talking about the different price ranges. Twenty nine dollars ninety five cents. No, we're not. I'm going making on. an offer right here. Right there. <laughs> um, we're, we're we're looking at somewhere around MSRP around one sixty nine. So, oh, that's really affordable. Yeah, it's definitely an affordable. Especially option. with the rings. Yes, with the rings How and do do? and the scope cap. Yeah. Okay. And very few companies out there are offering something like that with a lifetime warranty at that price point. And yes. Yeah. No. Exactly right. When you say, and I gotta ask you about this. When you say with the Crimson Trace quality, because you guys are new in scopes, yes. 
people don't know what that means. So when you tell them, okay, what is the Crimson Trace quality? So everything we do at Crimson Trace, because everybody that works in the, in this company is, is like you said, a shooter. We're right. all, we love it, we live it. So the quality to us is we are super users, so it better stand up to what we would do to this. It's not coming from a company that doesn't understand what a normal user would do or use out on a daily basis. Good, good enough is not. No, and we put them through their paces. Huh. I mean, thousands and thousands of rounds of testing. Uh, we go out and actually live fire a portion of our testing protocol yeah. is we will put those scopes through a pace of what a normal person would do in about an hour. So we'll put that many rounds on that scope to see what a lifetime of yeah. use. And with an AR, that can be a lot of rounds. It can, you know, bolt action rifle. So uh, testing thousands of rounds of 30-06 on that guy. You know, which to a lot of people say, man, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it is for a while. Yeah, for the first for the first twenty minutes, you're yeah. like, this is pretty cool. Yeah, then you're like, no, nah, do I have to, to do go this now. anymore? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's our new new one for the rifle scope line. Okay. Now you um, got something you just start. I mean, like just found out you're getting an award for. Yes. Uh, so the laser saddle, which we we they're flying off of the shelves. Um, what, what is that? So let's talk about the laser saddle. So last year we came out with the one for. It, Tom, what is it? Any other fire? What the, the? It's the. It's not a shotgun, not a rifle, not a thing, and not a. It's a. It's an other. It's an other. It's an other. So if you guys haven't seen this thing, Mossberg has this uh, other a shotgun that is a. Um, it's has no stock on it. It's called the Shockwave. Right. Uh, hugely popular for and, home and, defense. And, and let me tell you, putting a laser on that makes it work. Yes. Because it, you you just can't aim it. And pointing it is not nearly as people say, oh, it's a shotgun. Just point it in some general yep. direction. No. Yeah, we, we do a fun thing whenever I demo it. I'll tell people, okay, put it at your waist because that's where you shoot it from, from your hip. Right. Um, and I'll say, okay, point at, I'll give them a target that's kind of parallel to them. And I'll say, are you on target? Do you feel like you're on target? And they'll say, yeah. And then I say, okay, now turn on the laser and see, see where that guy is pointing. <laughs> um, so they're, they're always, you know, you always arc upwards when you put right. it at your waist. Okay. So if it's cool on that. Tell them what, you, what you've done with it. So that. we have the ones for the Mossberg, so Mossberg Shockwave and the 500, mm -hmm. um, 590, and now we've launched the one for the 870. So all the people that have been waiting for nice. the one from Remington, uh, it's it's ready to go for the 870. So And you know, it also fits on their their version of this small guy, which is called the TAC-14. And it doesn't have to be an 870 with a Picatinny rail. It could be like any 870. Yeah, yeah. So if, if you're like me, I've got like an old... 870 riot gun. Yep. It doesn't have any of the modern stuff on it. Yep. It has absolutely no sights whatsoever. Right. Now I drop this thing on it. Now I have a laser sight. Now you have a, a more effective home defense tool. You're 100%. And, and the thing that we have with these is we found out that a lot of people don't want to sacrifice the side of the shotgun so that they can run the ca the caddies on the oh, side, yeah, right. uh, side saddles, and some people have actual sights on the top sure. of their shotgun. So we've made Let's it work so with that all of that. It works with all of that. Really? Yep. Yep. Just right on the side. It replaces the uh, two bolts that are in the lower receiver group. We pull them That's right cool. out, put the new ones in, and you're good to go. And you got an award. Yep, we did. We got. We went back to the award. We got the uh, NRA Golden Bullseye. It'll be announced at the NRA show in um, Nashville. Yeah, up. In Nashville, coming up. So we're really proud of it for the platform, which they don't usually do. They usually pick a specific product. Okay. But in this case, they gave it for a, the entire laser saddle platform. What's this cost? Different prices for red versus green. So we have red, red sure. and green options, which we shouldn't have uh, forgot to mention. But the red versions are a little over 150. The greens are a little bit more than 200. Okay, that's not bad at all. No. I was expecting another extra hundred on no, that. Honestly. No, no, you're, you're you're doing good with those guys. And huh. uh, one other thing with those is we went back because we got a lot. We listened to all of the people that use our products, and they said, "Hey, there's a lot of people out there with 20 gauge shock waves." Hmm. So what we did is we developed a shim kit for the shockwave. Different size frame. Yep. And it comes included with the regular one for the shockwave, so you use the shim kit right in there. Sweet. Anybody who has one right now that's listening to this that says, hey, I didn't get my shim for for mine, if you call up Crimson Trace Customer Service, we'd be more than happy to put the shim in the box and send it out to you. You guys have always done that kind of stuff. Yep. I mean, you came up with the whole batteries for life deal. That's you know, right. All that. Is that still in effect? It's 100% still in effect. All right. Explain that. So batteries for life program is when you buy any of our Crimson Trace products, so including the rifle scopes, red dots, including our flashlights, which 
There's what? nobody else in the industry. Um, we give you battery for the lifetime of the product. Uh, you call into customer service or you go online, fill out a form, and we send you the batteries that you need once a year. That is crazy, you know. That's pretty cool. It, it's, it's very cool. Uh, obviously, it lets you keep contact with people. Yep. And they have contact with you. Yep. But also, it's just one of those deals of, you know, you get fresh batteries once a year. And for most of these products, battery life is much more than a year. Absolutely. So Absolutely. you actually are not going to run out no. of battery. And, and you know, I'll, I'll tell you and I'll tell all of your, your fans, because I love them all, too, that if you call into customer service, you know, Used it in six months. They're 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 not going to turn. They're going to send you batteries. Yeah, we we're Shh. we're here to help you. We're not going to make that public. Though. That's right. That's right. We won't <laughs> tell anybody else. We won't tell anybody else. Okay, got that. two minutes left. Tell me what else you want to talk about. What's new from Crimson? Yeah, Price? we got one other one to talk about. It's called the 301. Okay. So CMR 301. This is a pretty awesome little device that fits on a long gun. So on your AR platform rifle, it'll fit Picatinny or M lock. Um, kind of a rectangular shape. It's a thousand lumen throw on the light portion, and it has a green laser. So it's kind of like the D ball. Kind of like the D ball, ball, but a little bit cheaper. A, yeah, because the D ball is about three grand. Yeah, or so? it, okay. It, yeah, it's somewhere a little over two, three. It depends on where you catch them. Okay. Um, so similar to that device, the D ball has an IR feature, and I can neither confirm or deny whether there yeah. could be something in the future that mm, could do that okay. as well. Gotcha. Um, but there is a green laser on this one. We did green only. For the simple fact that it is a long gun, right, and you're going to want to be able to see that green laser very far. Because away. you got a green laser, but you also have a thousand lumen white light. Correct. On it, and you can choose to run them together or just laser, just light. Yeah, you know, I was trying to think of what I'm going to do with that. My first thought was, well, that would be a great hog rig. Yep. But then I'm thinking, you know, that would actually not be a very a bad self-defense rig, even a possible law enforcement setup. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Um, Self-defense, tactical situations, different right. things like that. Right. Um, and it also comes with the Picatinny and the M-Lock mount, so you can choose anywhere on that rail that you want to mount it, underneath, over top, anywhere you want to go. And from a tactical standpoint, if you have a thousand lumen light, there are situations where if you can hit the subject with the light, you may not have to actually end up shooting that person. Yeah, de-escalation. There's a lot of, lot of value in that. Yep. Absolutely. It really is. And it comes with the pressure plate as well. So you can choose to run it without the pressure switch okay. or you can attach the pressure switch. I mean, a lot of you guys have seen the uh, flashlights that we've come out in the past with a different pressure switch. Okay, so the, if, if the D ball is two to three grand, what's this? Uh, we're looking right around $249. So you're going to get it, and it comes you with guys, batteries for life. You guys are wackadoodle. I know. We're, we're trying to make sure that uh, we give you the quality that you want. And, Tom, um, my favorite color, it comes uh, black or FTE. Oh, okay. So, all so of, whatever you, the color of your firearm, in yep. this case, I, I'm thinking most of these are going to be AR types, yep. probably. Yep. That's just very cool. It is very cool. All right. Obviously, CrimsonTrace.com. Yep. CrimsonTrace.com. Come and, come and check it out. Come and see us at the NRA show if you guys are there uh, coming up. Yeah. So we're going to be there. I invite everybody to be there. We're going to do uh, Hired Guns again. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're gonna, that's the the Gun Talk rock band. There, there you yeah, go. I'm not kidding. We really are. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. All right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We are at the SHOT Show in Las Vegas 2020. Have some more news. And when we come back, I'm going to give you my take on the Virginia gun rights rally. The Smith & Wesson M&P 380 Shield Easy Pistol revolutionized personal protection with its easy-to-use design. Now, enter the M&P Shield Easy in 9mm. Built for personal and home protection, the Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Shield Easy Pistol features the same easy-to-rack, easy-to-load, and easy-to-shoot design of the M&P Shield Easy series. Available at a retailer near you. Find out more at smith-wesson.com. Perhaps more than any other landscape, wetlands embody the life-giving abundance that nature has to offer. And perhaps more than any other organization, Ducks Unlimited is working to ensure that our continent's wetlands not only survive, but thrive for generations well beyond this one. The time is now to band together. The time is now to rescue our wetlands. 
Brownells.com is your home for all things firearms. Looking for a retro rifle? How about the BRN 180 or 180S? Named one of SHOT Show's best products of 2019. Visit Brownells.com for guns, ammo, reloading equipment, or anything you need to customize your firearm. And enjoy the industry's only guaranteed forever satisfaction policy. To stay up to date with the latest and best deals from Brownells, text BRN to 556223. Tactical professionals who put their lives on the line every day depend on Surefire. Since 1979, Surefire has designed, machined, and assembled the finest flashlights, weapon-mounted lights, hearing protection, and suppressors right here in the U.S. Surefire, offering a best-in-class warranty and customer service, and used by more military special operations, SWAT teams, and hard-use end-users than any other brand. Surefire, American-built, American-strong. Visit Surefire.com. That's Surefire.com. how it happens around here. You have a plan, and then your plan goes down the moment you start. There we go. We were going to be, you, I was going to talk to you about Virginia, and I will do that. Hold on to that. But Andrew Wright came by here from Surefire, and Andrew, I said, let's sit down in the chair, man. Just, dude, let's talk about what you got. So what have you, I mean, it's SHOT Show. You're showing new stuff. What do you got, man? Yeah, we have a lot of new uh, exciting products. One of the big things that we're doing is the uh, new Scout Light Pro Series. Okay. So it's an entire family um, of, sc- of Scout Lights, five different models. But the big thing is it's an M-Lock Direct mount that also swivels. Uh, oh, so you can, you can get it as tight to the gun as possible. So no matter what platform it is, if you have it on an AR. it's a problem when it's sticking out. It gets hung up on stuff when you're going through tight places, doorways, and all that kind of thing. Exactly. And all, you know, all the different rifles that are out there, they're different diameter rails. They're different platforms. Uh-huh. So no matter what size rail, if it's a big diameter or a smaller diameter, you can get this as absolutely low profile as possible because you can swivel it closer. Is this to adjustable for tension? It is. Absolutely. Look so you, you get yep, in the position yep. you want, and then you crank that. Lock it down, and, and you lock there. it down. It also comes with a Picatinny cleat. So you have both options available. It comes with both the M-Lock Direct and the Picatinny. That, but that particular one is the dual fuel, so 1,500 lumens. But we have several other models available as well, IR I'm just, versions. I'm just going to blind all the people that are walking by yeah, here. Yeah, you got to be careful with that thing. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. It's, it's kind of fun. You know, you go, zap them. What is that? Oh, okay. Got okay. Some eggs. Very cool. What's this called again? That's the Scout Light Pro. Okay. What's that thing? Next up is a concealed carry type of a handgun weapon light. So this is the XR2, which is a light and laser, um, 600 oh, lumens, geez. green laser. Uh, it's rechargeable. It has a removable battery cartridge, actually, so you can charge it oh. like you would a camera battery. So, so you get an extra battery and have it on charge? Exactly. Swap them out? Exactly. So the first design, the prototype, the first one we did was actually you charge the unit itself. Right. And the problem that we found with that, if you're actually training and using your lights, is it, it makes sense for a nightstand. You know, you just charge it with your phone at night. Mm-hmm. However, but if you actually go take a, a low-light class, you're going to be doing, you know, four to you're eight gonna, hours. You're going to burn up your battery. You need more batteries. You can't just go stick your gun over and a Exactly. A it's a real problem. So this is the best way to do it. We found, just like you would a camera battery, you can do a hot swap. Did you pull say one 600 up lumens? Yeah, it's 600 lumens. Good. I mean, I remember when 60 was big. Exactly. <laughs> this is uh, super, super small. Um, it is. Again, it's meant for concealed carry. It's not replacing on our X300. That's our most popular weapon light. But this is a really good option. It doesn't really sacrifice much in the space regards as far as concealability goes. So you've got the laser. Yep. And you've got the white light. You could, a laser helps you with the aiming and target selection. Correct. The white light identifies the threat. And, you know, more and more people are now starting to think about what does all this mean? I mean, we got, got the whole uh, Jack Wilson deal, the, the Texas church shooting. May have to make a quick shot. May have to make a head shot. Yep. A, I'll tell you, man, a laser... Very, very helpful, especially in you know in, in chaotic environments when you're moving around. Sites might be hard to track. Yep. Uh, low light, it helps as well. I mean, non-standard shooting positions. If you're you know if you have to fall down or shoot from uh, a lower angle, the laser helps you index where where it's going to hit. So. Okay. That is very cool. You guys are always doing uh, price source on these? So we have two versions. This one's, like I said, the light laser combination. There's also a light only. If you're not into lasers for whatever reason, okay. the light only one's going to be cheaper. So that's right around the $300 mark. Right. The light laser is about 450 Now that's MSRP. You can find it from our dealers for maybe a little bit less than that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so the light only, about $300. That's the XR1. Right. And the XR2 is the light laser, about $450. Okay. And all this is available. I mean, you can, people can find out about it on the website. Surefire.com. Yep. The okay. Scout Light Pros are absolutely available. They're shipping right now. XR1 and XR2 is going to be roughly April time frame. It's going to start shipping. What are you seeing, just generally speaking? Are people, do people understand now, I mean, it's like you've been preaching about lights 
forever and ever and ever. Yeah. Do people get it that they need lights on their guns? I mean, actually weapon mounted lights. More and more, definitely have more educated customers, it seems. I think the internet's helping out a lot with that, with just, you know, getting the information out there, um, but not as much as, as you'd think, you know what I mean? A lot of people carry a gun on a daily basis, but not many, you know, I'd say less than half of those carry an actual flashlight. And it's right. kind of funny because most bad things happen after dark. I mean, yes. even, even statistically speaking, really. Yeah. Um, so you absolutely need to carry and a people flashlight. understand, it's funny, I think people put a light on their home defense gun, mm -hmm. but they forget to put it on their carry gun. Yep, yep. You know, I mean, what's the one you're out and about all the time? And the, the thing is, the lights are so small now, and the holsters are good. You can find a holster for any gun with a, a light attached. Yep. That's really not an issue now. Yep. Yep, there's almost no excuse to not uh, to carry a weapon light with you. And at the least, you know, if you prefer maybe a small wheel gun or there's no real way to mount uh, a weapon light, right. at least you got to have a handheld. you got to have a, a flashlight, a handheld light, you know, and you guys got lo loads of those. Yeah, we got keychain lights all the way up. Man. Yep, the stiletto has been super popular for that. We have a, a flat pocket light that's rechargeable, so you, if you're using it on a daily basis, you're not burning through batteries, you just plug it in, mm -hmm. and it's super slim, fits in the pocket really well. And then we launched that Stiletto Pro, which is the 1,000 lumen version of it, and man, they've been flying off the shelves uh, for that specific task. And people do understand the difference in lights. There are a lot, there's a lot of cheap lights out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they all are. And you only have to buy like three or four of them because you're going to end up having to buy three or four of them because they're going to fail on you. Yep. Before you th start thinking, well, you know, two things. One is the Surefire might end up actually be more affordable in the long run. But more than that, it's not going to fail me when, when need I need it, when I like my life need, you know, needs it. Yep. A hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, you got to buy something quality if you're if you're if you're looking to you know protect your life. If it's something that you need to depend on in a time of life situation, you want to go with a quality product, and uh, that's something that we really emphasize. You know, we do a lot of R and D, a lot of quality control. You know, every light we make, we test before it's packaged, make sure it's putting out the output that it, that we say it is. Um, and, and go get some low light training somewhere, right? Yeah, having the right tool is one thing, but you need to know how to use it. You got to get some practice, and, yeah, and so we really encourage people to go out and get training. And when you do, you have a lot of those. I never thought of that moments when you. You start learning about it. You go, oh, I didn't realize I could do that with a light. I didn't, you know, I didn't know how to use that. And you go, okay, now I start to understand why you guys keep talking about lights all the time. We're trying to preach it, man. You've you got to train. Um, having the tool is, is half the battle, but you also need to know how to use it. Andrew, thank you so much. Thank appreciate you very it, much. Surefire.com? That's right, surefire.com. All right. All right, appreciate it. Hey, guys, don't go far. When we come back, I will, in fact, talk about what happened in Virginia. We'll give you my take on that. I'm Tom Gresham. We're at the SHOT Show. Be right back. From the Crimson Trace booth at SHOT Show 2020, you're listening to Tom Gresham's Gun Talk. All right, back with you. Tom Gresham here. It's Gun Talk, and we are, in fact, in the Crimson Trace booth. We're uh, at SHOT Show 2020. It is uh, in Las Vegas. It's actually Thursday. I know you're not listening to this on Thursday, unless you're listening to the podcast next Thursday, which I guess could be, could be happening. Uh, but because the SHOT Show does not go over a Sunday... We we're recording this today so you could hear it then, bringing you kind of the latest what's going on around here. But I do want to take a minute because uh, it was this week when they had the Lobby Day in Richmond, Virginia, Gun Rights Lobby. Always been, I mean, they've had that thing for 18 years, and it's always been kind of quiet and well-behaved and peaceful. Not a big deal. This year, of course, it's a big deal. Why? Well, because... Let's just call it what it is. Gun owners did not show up in November. They let the Democrats take control of the House and the Senate. The Democrats said, and we are going to pass very restrictive gun control laws. And so now the Democrats feel emboldened, and now the gun owners woke up and went, what happened? Well, what happened was you didn't register to vote. You didn't show up. So you get what you get. As they say, elections have consequences. So some 20, 22,000, pick a number, people showed up in Richmond, Virginia last Monday. The governor lost his mind and declared an emergency because people might carry guns there. So they fenced off the area around the state capitol. Huge fences, basically the cage. Had metal detectors, you had to go through there, you had to go through security because that was going to be the safe area. And thousands of people did that. But even more, maybe, maybe two, three, four, five times as many people decided, I'm not going to go into the cage. And so they were outside the cage in huge numbers, and they were carrying guns. I mean, practically everybody was carrying a gun. A lot of them were carrying openly. Some were carrying ARs. One guy was even carrying a 50 cal, a Barrett. Really? Okay, well, whatever. So here's the thing. 
What's interesting about that is now we know, we knew that ahead of time, but now everybody knows that nothing happened. And gee, I think you're just as safe outside the safe zone. You're just as safe where people are carrying guns, if they're good people, as you are inside the zone. In fact, it's not safer in there. But now the media is still trying to figure it out because they really pumped it up. They said this is going to be a white supremacist, racist, uh, on and on. You can't believe the things they said. They actually did frighten some people from st- from going there. They, they forced them to stay away. The turnout may have been bigger if they hadn't had all of that. Having said all that, and now we know that, you know, gee, it was, uh, there's a lot of diversity there. There were white people, black people, brown people. There were women, there were gays, there were lesbians. LBGT was represented. Everybody was there. And it's all part of the gun community. And our basic attitude about all of that in the gun world is we don't care. If you're with us on guns and gun rights and like to shoot, I don't care. Don't care, you know, what you look like. I don't care what you do and other things. I just don't care. It's not a big deal. So this morning, uh, Thursday, as we're recording this, I see, what was that, Vox, yeah, Vox.com, a crazy piece from somebody who said she was there on the grounds, and she is taking issue with the media reports that this was a peaceful display. She says this was not a peaceful display. This was not a peaceful rally. This was not a peaceful protest. And I'm thinking, well, nothing happened. I mean, the the worst thing you can say is that our people, when it was all done, said and done, they went around with their own garbage bags and picked up all the litter and left the place cleaner than when they found it. But her problem was it, it wasn't peaceful because there were people with guns there. The mere fact that there were guns there made it not peaceful for her. And there's a mental issue going on with this thing, and we could you know, delve into that another time. But it is total spin and it's the whole deal of, oh, yeah, the other one they're saying is, well, the reason it was peaceful is because the uh, law enforcement identified the militia white supremacist and blocked them from attending. Really? You had 22,000 people there, and a whole bunch of them were carrying guns, and they all were very polite. They posed for pictures with the police. The police were supporting them. They were saying... Even the police said, we will not comply. We're not going to enforce these unconstitutional laws. So that's kind of the aftermath. So what do we accomplish? Um, You're not going to stop these laws from being passed in Virginia. Elections have consequences. However, I think it did ameliorate it somewhat. They are changing the laws they are passing, and they are passing red flag laws. They're going to pass some others. But they are less bad. They're still bad. Actually, they're very bad. I also think we elevated the awareness of gun owners everywhere to this, and I'm hopeful that gun owners everywhere now know you have to be plugged in to your state gun rights organization. You have to be part of of the solution. You have to be part of the answer. Because if you're not, here's the deal. How can you know when to go to the state capitol on things like this if you don't even know something's happening? You, got, you have to, have to, have to join your state gun rights organization. Yeah, I know. you got to belong to the national groups, too. But you have to be part of the state activity because that's where it's all happening. All right. Having said that, let's see. As of today, and I told you this was going to happen, and everybody said I was crazy. I told you, I told you, I told you. I love saying that. Michael Bloomberg is now polling fourth. Everybody said he's, he won't amount to anything. He has spent a quarter of a billion dollars so far. He will be in the running. It'll be neck and neck for him to be the candidate for the Democrats. Mark my words. He doesn't need the Democrat Party. He doesn't need their structure. He doesn't need their support. And he certainly doesn't need their money. He, is, he actually has a commercial. A Michael Bloomberg for president commercial is going to run in the Super Bowl. I mean, big, big money. And, and look, if he spent a billion dollars, so what? If the stock market is returning 20%, He is making $10 billion a year just off the stock market. So it just doesn't matter. He is the real deal, and he is the real threat. He is Mr. Gun Control himself, and he's making himself look like Mr. Reasonable in his ads. But I kept telling everybody, 
this guy has enough money, and if he has the passion and he wants to do it, he can buy his way into that candidacy, and then we're going to really have a fight. So that's my take on that. All right, take a quick break here. When we come back, we're going to tell you about some of the cool stuff that Ruger is up to. And believe me, we got kind of the, the large and the small from the sublime to the ridiculous coming in here from Ruger. I'll be right back with more Gun Talk. The Ruger pistol that started it all is now even better. The Ruger Mark IV has the same great look as the Mark III, but now its simple one-button takedown means less time taking apart your gun and more time shooting it. Disassemble it in seconds for no hassle cleaning. Learn more about the Target, Hunter, and 2245 Light Mark IV Series models at Ruger.com. The Ruger Mark IV, another rugged, reliable firearm from Ruger. Attacks happen every day. How will you react? See real people put into real-life criminal attack situations on First Person Defender. Discover what works and what doesn't. Kidnapping, ATM robbery, home invasion, and other attacks. Learn how to save your life and the lives of your family. Get the entire first season on DVD at ShopGunTalk.com. Get prepared. ShopGunTalk.com. Hi, this is Tom Gresham from Gun Talk. America is losing critical wildlife habitat at a rate of one football field every hour. It's happening on the Louisiana coast, but it's critical to all sportsmen and conservationists. These precious wetlands provide winter habitat for more than 10 million ducks and geese annually, waterfowl that migrate north through dozens of states. Don't shrug it off. Get involved. You can help. Visit vanishingparadise.org. Since 1994, Crimson Trace has defined and built the laser sighting category through design, innovation, and performance. With an obsession to create best-in-class electro-optics, Crimson Trace now offers a full line of lasers, lights, reflex sights, red dot sights, and rifle scopes for tactical and sport applications. Most Crimson Trace products include free batteries for life, and all scopes are backed by a lifetime warranty. Find yours at your local dealer or at crimsontrace.com. Hey, welcome back. Tom Gresham here. We're uh, at the SHOT Show 2020 in Las Vegas. Yeah, we're, it's recorded. Don't call in. <laughs> uh, we had to do this a couple of days uh, before the broadcast because that's when the SHOT Show is. If you don't know, SHOT Show is the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show. It's been going on for, I don't know, 50 years, something like that now. We'll find out a little, a little bit later on exactly how long. It is the industry trade show for the firearms industry. It's not open to the public. It's not a gun show. You can't buy guns here. But it's where distributors are come, where dealers, gun stores come here, the manufacturers exhibit here, a lot of business is done here, but nobody actually picks up any guns and goes away with them. That's not what it's about. It's not, as I say, not open to the public. Um, it's huge. It is unbelievably huge. It's multi-floor. It is exhibits. It's uh, seminars. It's all sorts of stuff. 60,000 people plus maybe, I don't know, 700,000 square feet. It's crazy town. But, boy, is it fun. If you do get to go, then you, uh, you'll be overwhelmed. Uh, Graham Rockwell joins us right now. Graham from uh, Ruger. I try to describe SHOT Show. One of the things I tell people is trying to tell people about the SHOT Show is like trying to describe the Grand Canyon. If you haven't seen it, you can't um, really understand it. Is that fair? Absolutely. You can get lost. There's In the lower section, you can get lost, turned around. There's just so many different vendors uh, you know, feeding the entire industry, the entire outdoor industry. And it's great to see. The large groups and the small groups. They actually have a, an app, a smartphone app with a map, so you don't get lost, so you can figure out where you are in this place. Absolutely. They say you, you can walk it for all four days and not see all the exhibits. I think they said if you spent all four days here and went to every booth, you could do somewhere between 30 and 45 seconds in each booth. It, it's crazy. It really is. All right. So a lot of people, of course, are standing around the Ruger booth. You guys are always busy because you always have interesting things, but this year you have... I think you surprised a lot of people with the new 5.7 pistol. I mean, I don't think people saw that coming. They did not. I mean, that's one of the reactions we've had across the board is just, you know, people thanking us, excited that Ruger would take a step like this and try a platform in the 5.7 by 28 caliber. It's actually pretty gutsy. 
for Ruger. Ruger's like this big company, and yeah, you do introductions and all, but you're not known for going way out on a limb. And this feels more like going out on a limb to me. Yeah, we, we, we like to look at the market. We like to find you know niches like the Precision Rifle, a place where people are spending a lot of money for a platform. We like to be able to do our own take on it, design our own guns. I hadn't thought of that's kind of what this is. And, you know, you, everybody liked the one up that, I mean, look, the FBN is a great pistol. It's just pricey. And this one is light, 20 round magazine, shoots the 5.7 caliber, 5.7 by 28 caliber cartridge. And what's it cost? MSRP, 799 So you're going to see it for less than that. So we're looking half of what you might see for that, that other gun. That other gun. Yeah, you can't say that. I know. I can. That's okay. So when if people haven't seen the gun, and you're trying to do this on radio, hold it up to the microphone, you know? Yeah. And uh, well, how do you describe it? What do you tell them you're holding in your hand there? I mean, you're, you're holding a fun gun. We, we had the range day on Monday. Right. Line was back. It's a testament to how fun this gun is to shoot. Uh, you're getting rifle-like velocities out of a pistol with that cartridge, 5-inch barrel. And as you said, 20 rounds. It's just it's full size. It's the ergonomics are probably what differs. It's, it's differs full it size, most. but the grip's thin. Exactly. We model very 1911-ish, and we yeah. have 1911s controls as well. Okay. So the controls are more intuitive, ambidextrous on the safety, reversible on the mag release. Uh, it's just a fun gun to shoot. You can carry it for, for personal defense, target shoot with it, or you know hunt predators with it. And I know that's one of the people things that people say. Okay, that's really cool, but what's it good for? Well, it w this would be a great home defense gun. I mean, I guess you could carry it, but you have to say what we were before the show we were talking. You have to figure this is like a full size 1911. If you're okay carrying an absolutely full size gun, this would work. Absolutely. But it's lighter. Definitely light. I and mean, that's that, one of the first reactions is when they pay, people pick it up, they go, I can't believe how light this gun is. Yeah. I mean, because, uh, look, a full-size 1911, and we love them, and they're great, but it's heavy. Uh, this thing is just light. I mean, it's a it's a polymer gun. Uh, sights on it? What do we got? So we've got, from the factory, we've got the adjustable rear sight and a fiber optic front sight. And this is actually Ruger's first introduction of a new platform where we've actually already drilled and tapped. Uh, the top of the rail, so we can install an optics plate on here. You can drop an optic on there. Absolutely. So we have one optics plate available on Shop Ruger right now, and that allows for the Vortex and Burris mounting style, mm -hmm. and we'll be leading uh, the charge on getting more optics plates done, available on Shop Ruger for people that have other different red dots. Okay. Uh, what's it like to shoot it? So as you, as you said earlier, uh, it's light recoil. I mean, that's one of the main benefits of the 5.7x28. If you're going to compare it to a 1911, it's lightweight, and it's got that less, much less recoil. Much than less recoil, yeah. And it's it's fast. I mean, it's like 2,000 plus feet per second. Yeah, so out of, out of a standard rifle barrel, you'll see that 21, 2200 with this 5-inch barrel on a 40-grain bullet. We're seeing around 1,600 feet per second. So vastly, yeah. vastly faster than a lot that's of your other pistol handgun. rounds. Yeah. yeah. And uh, let's see, did you say Spear just announced that they're going to be making ammo for it? Yep. So it, that's another one of people's biggest concerns right now is the ammo supply. Right. Um, it, 5 7 by 28 has historically been difficult to find. And when you find it, it's expensive. We're hoping that, yes, and as you said, Spear uh, Gold Dot just was introduced about two weeks ago. So they're hoping to start uh, shipping that out soon. And we hope the popularity of the Ruger 5.7 helps ammo, man, ammo manufacturers kind of make a decision e to yeah. do it. Yeah. Make a decision to do it. I, I, think, I think some of them will come into the marketplace because of the introduction of this gun. Okay, we're going to tease this before we have to go. We're going to go from the big handgun to the small one over here. Tell them what this is, but don't tell them much about it because we're going <laughs> to go to a break here. Yeah, we're going to look at the LCP2 and 22 L LR. Okay, so everybody knows the LCP and how good it is and how popular it is, was and is. And now we have the LCP-2, and it's in 22 Rimfire. And we're, when we come back, we will answer the question that everybody asks, which is, why? What would I do with that? Well, I bet we can come up with a few things there. Oh, I've got, I've got a few reasons for you. <laughs> okay. All right, Graham, don't, don't go anywhere. Tell you what, we are at the SHOT Show. Uh, man, I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff going on here. There are, some things are just variations, like, okay, you've got a new flat dark earth finish, you know, whoopee. But then you have really cool new things, like, you know, the LCP in 10 or 5.7 or even new technology for rifle cartridges. We'll talk about that. We'll be right back, right here at the SHOT Show. Now. 
back to Tom Gresham at the Crimson Trace booth from SHOT Show 2020. Bunch of uh, people coming by during the uh, the break here, away we're talking, just having a good time. It's You do get together with a lot of friends, and Graham, you know, a lot. Of, it's like Groundhog Day for us. We've seen the same people year after year. It, it's, it is great fun. It's almost like a summer camp, you know, kind of a feeling. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's... Even amongst the different manufacturers, there's great camaraderie. You know, yeah, you, you got friends who work for other gun companies. It's not a big deal. Absolutely, and it's good to see what they're doing as well. You sure. know, it's uh, it's just a fun all event all around. All right, you got your 60 second pitch on the LCP2 rimfire. All right, 60 seconds. Here we go. I think we can cover that. The obviously, as you said, the LCP has been out for a little over 10 years. Mm -hmm. We had the LCP the original, the LCP2, which had some pretty cool uh, changes to it that we saw: shortened trigger, you know, better, more defined sights. Uh, and now we have the LCP2 in 22 long rifle. So a lot, probably the biggest thing about this, uh, is you, obviously you get a 10 plus one round capacity in this, so you nice. increase your capacity. But uh, one of the uh, complaints, but one of the a lot of feedback we get on the small carry guns is the ability to manipulate manipulate the slide. And when you actually have a small gun, the, slides hard to rack. Absolutely. It's just physics. So with the 22 LR, we've got our new Ruger light racking system. It's, I'd call it about half the energy you need. To, to, to rack oh. it. And we've increased the size of the serrations on the side. We've added some ears in the back. Uh, people with weak hands will just be able to manipulate this much easier, in addition to the fact you're shooting 22 LR, so you're going to have reduced recoil. Sure. Um, so you can use this as your primary gun if you want to have that light racking, or you can use this as a trainer if you if, carry the 380 if you, typically. If you carry a 380. Uh, LCP, you use this for your trainer, but you know what? A 22. People say, well, what good's a 22 long rifle in self-defense? It's worth a lot. It's a whole lot better than a sharp stick. That's right. That's right. It still puts holes. It still puts holes in things. That's right. It makes people stop what they're doing and want to go away, and that's your whole deal right there. I just want them to go away. Absolutely. Okay. We don't have a whole lot of time. I know you got tons of new stuff, so. Give us the rundown of some of the other new things you guys have been doing. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to walk through the Ruger booth. Um, obviously, those are our big two launches for this time of year. But, you know, as far as the rifles go, uh, everyone knows we have seen this trend in the straight wall pistol cartridges. Mm -hmm. So you're, you know, a lot of states like uh, Michigan, Illinois, Iowa, Ohio have transitioned their shotgun zones to straight wall cartridge zones, which is great for hunters. So we introduced the 450 Bushmaster a few years back, and that's been a big hit. And Winchester last year at SHOT Show introduced the 350 Legend. Right. So we, as you said, there's a lot of things going back and forth in the industry. We saw that. We knew that was immediately something we wanted so what to. What rifles did you put that into? Yeah, so we've seen it. Now we have it in the American American rifle and in several different configurations, a ranch, uh, right. both standard and compact, because people like to use this as a introduction gun for young hunters. Okay. Um, we have it in the Go Wild American uh, with uh, gold uh, sorry, burnt bronze Cerakote, which has been extremely popular. Oh, okay. Um, and then we also have it in the AR platform, so that gives us both the oh. full-length rifle, and we also now have the 350 Legend AR pistol. Oh, so nice! That, so that's a very cool. That's a very cool gun right there. Okay, next one. All right, yeah. Revol revolver. Let's talk revolver. Revolver. So uh, we introduced our custom shop a little over a year ago with the 1022. Uh, and a couple of uh, the, the Doug Canning 1911. We now have super, the Super GP100 in 357, and now in 9 millimeter. So people looking eight shot 9 millimeter. Uh, it's got a much shortened cylinder on it, so reduce reduce the entire mass, increases the, uh, the spin rate of the cylinder. Uh, great for competition, IDPA, something like that. So that's a very cool gun to check out if you're doing revolver competition. Okay, shooting. you got 20 seconds to get one more in. Oh man, 20 seconds. All right. Oh man, what do I pick? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the Ruger Wrangler. The Ruger Wrangler. Easy. It's been, oh, out, wow. been out since the NRA show. Lightweight, single action, 22 LR. 22 LR. Gonna find it over the counter for less than 200 bucks. Less than 200 bucks for a single action revolver. Very cool. Hey, good job. We got them all. Well, we don't. We did not get all of them. No, no. There's still more. There's but a whole that's... bunch more. At, you know, Ruger.com, right? Yeah. Check check them all at Ruger.com or local firearms retailer. Yep. And also, if you want to buy accessories and things, just go to shopruger.com. That's correct. Get all that cool stuff. But you got to check out that 57. If you can find a range where you can rent one and shoot it, once you shoot it, I'm telling you, you're going home with it. Thank you so much, Graham. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Tom. Thanks for having me back. All right. We'll be right back at the SHOT Show in Las Vegas, Nevada.